the number one ranked Longhorns of Texas. Looking to move to 11 and all of the season, taking on West Virginia for the second straight night. The Mountaineers came into this one 12 and two on the year. The story of the contest, as far as Texas was concerned, Holly, aces, they had 11 of them on the night. Texas is the best serving team in the country, and tonight they showed why they put all sorts of pressure on West Virginia. Strategic serving, we saw power, everybody getting it done from the service line for Texas. Including three aces from Nani Osea. How about Skyler Field? 16 kills last night against West Virginia, and then added 15 more tonight. And she's hitting 481. Those are astronomical numbers for a left side hitter who gets a lot of out assistance sets as well. She makes really smart decisions on the left side pin. How about Logan Eggleston doing a little bit of everything tonight? 10 digs, eight kills, two aces, as the Longhorns really dominated throughout this matchup in the first two sets, taking them 25-16 and 25-17. Logan Eggleston can hurt you from everywhere. Just a well all rounded player. Six rotations for Texas, great leadership by number 33. Third set was closer for the Longhorns, but they took it 25-21. And how about the addition of Sage Kahana Torres? The transfer from Utah, just her fourth match with the Horns, 13 assists. She adds another All-American to the already loaded Texas roster. And I've been really impressed by what she can do on both sides of the ball, defensively and offensively. So many weapons on this Texas team as they remain undefeated in a straight sense win over West Virginia.